right, how's it going guys? Happy Monday, and if it's a little loud, sorry, the kids are eating dinner. And I figured um, I would do a quick haul video for you guys. I asked you over on Instagram and Facebook if you guys wanted to see it. We went over to Country View Bulk Food Store um, in Snover, Michigan, because it was the only place, <laughs> I think, in the state that sold canning lids and guys you guys have been hitting me up in my comments section saying heather where are you buying your lids where are you finding your lids and i've been telling you guys usually i just pick them up you know at, at walmart or you know i can pick them up at the, at the ace value or at the tractor supply and it wasn't until you guys started bringing it to my attention that um canning supplies are selling out everywhere and that I was like hey wait a minute let me look around so I hit up a couple of canning friends of mine and nobody can find canning lids where they live uh, their Amish uh, and Mennonite bulk food stores are also sold out we even went and tried on lemons.com uh, sold out everywhere is sold out you cannot find canning lids anywhere so I wanted to do this video for you guys if you're in Michigan or probably in Ohio, I mean, you could make the drive up. Um, I was able to find them at Snover, at the at Country View Bulk Foods in Snover, Michigan. So they sell them um, in bulk there. They go by weight. They are for the regular lids. They are 18 cents. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus. They are 18 cents each approximately 76 lids per pound so that's how they're sold by the pound so i bought four of the largest packages that we could find we kind of went through everything that they had on the shelf and we picked the four biggest packages so i was able to get um this one which was just under five pounds uh these are uh regular mouth i'm sorry i'm sorry about my camera regular mouth size 71.44 for this sleeve this is wide mouth at 68.24. This is wide mouth at 62.52. And this is regular mouth for 66.51. Uh, These two are going to uh, my friend Paul over at Paul's Rule of Thumb. He's actually going to come up and um, visit with us in uh, the next few weeks or so. And um, he's going to come and get some canning lids. And I'm actually going to buy some canning jars from him. So, uh, um, so his total just for two sleeves, you would be looking at, if I can get this stuff out, guess, one, uh, 136.77 for two sleeves. So if you are thinking about going there, you can do that. I do not think they take orders online. Um, so you have to go to the actual store but like i said if you're in michigan and you are looking for canning lids this is the only place i've been able to find them even my tractor supply that has a whole aisle of canning supplies usually they had a couple of cases in the front of the store and that's all they had they had nothing nothing <laughs> no canners you can't you can find a utensil any utensils nothing it's kind of crazy so I went there specifically for this. That was a four hour round trip drive for us. <laughs> and um, it, it was kind of brutal, not gonna lie. It was raining, storming today, but um, I needed to get these bulk canning lids in my possession because I just didn't want to wait. So that's what we specifically went there for. While I was there, I figured, you know what? They had two cases left of wide mouth pint jars. These are like probably my most used size. So I went ahead and I just bought the two cases that they had um, just to have on hand. Um, I'm going to put them to good use, um, but I am really stocking my pantry this uh, summer, this fall here um, as we get, go into fall. And um, I am really using up my jars. So I'm going to uh, slowly be adding more to my stock. So I picked up the only two wide mouth uh, pints that they had. I also picked up, um, you can buy bands there in bulk as well. So the bands are $5.99 and you get 24 of them. So they're 25 cents each. So I got a bag of the wide mouth and a bag of the regular mouth. I don't can with rusty uh, rings. So when mine start discoloring or getting rusty, um, I toss them. And, uh, and I will have these on backup to have on hand. 
Also, something else I have not been able to find where I live, distilled vinegar, which is huge when you're canning. Um, I use, you know, vinegar to wipe all my rims. I use them in my canner. I use them to wash my canning jars, which we will be doing together tonight. I'll be making another video on how I wash, uh, check my jars, label my jars, and put them in my pantry. Vinegar is big. And of course, if you, you're going to need it if you're pickling anything, right? I have not been able to find, um, any distilled, plain distilled vinegar in my area. So I grabbed two bottles of this while I was there. Um, so I am happy to add that to my pantry. I also had to stock up on some salt. So I grabbed uh, canning salt, pickling salt, of course. This was $1.99. There we go, $1.99 for that box. And that is a four pound box of that. I also picked up some kosher salt because I was all out of this. And this was $2.99 for this box. That was a three pound box. I also picked up some more sea salt. Uh, this is what I normally cook with. So I picked this up. This was $1.92 for 2.78 pounds. And then I also picked up some more pretzel salt. Um, and this is just gonna be for future um, bread and um, bagels that I plan on baking. So this was $1.79 a pound. So that came to $1.71. All right. And then I got a kind of a, a little box of goodies here. So I thought I would share it with you. All right. Because <laughs> these are all probably going to be in upcoming videos. So I grabbed some cream of tartar. So again, there they sell everything in bulk. Um, so there is, it's a third of a pound. So that was $3 and 25 cents. I was completely out of cream of tartar. So I needed to get that. I also picked up while I was there two containers of their clear gel cook type. This is what I use when I make um, pie filling, when I can it. So you want the cook type. You do not want the instant. This is $1.18 a pound. So this one was $2.95 and this one was $2.96. And I will be putting this to good use once um, apples come out because I'm gonna be making apple pie filling. So grab two of those. And I'm doing this video too because many of you ask me where I buy all of my stuff, you know, for the kid for canning supplies and all that. So that's why I'm sharing with you guys. Um, also, dry malt barley. So I grabbed some dry malt barley powder, and this is to make future bagels. And when I make those bagels, I wanna put some minced garlic on it. So I grabbed a container of minced garlic. This is a third of a pound, it was $3.62. And um, I think that'll be really good topped on top of homemade bagels. The um, malt was, um, Oh, just shy of a pound, and that was $2.90. I also grabbed two containers of cocoa. Now, this is the black cocoa, so it's the super dark stuff, which is going to be really good for homemade brownies. So I grabbed two of these. This one was $2.20. This one was $2.13, and that runs um, $3.49 a pound. I grabbed two of those. I also picked up Vital Wheat Gluten, and this is what I use in my bread. We can get that to focus. <laughs> so this is about um, just shy of a pound and a half. It's $2.19 a pound, and that was a $3. So this is what I put in my, um, in my bread. Anytime I'm making a heavy bread, like whole wheat, um, rye, anything like that, anything that could be a little heavier, especially when you're dealing with the whole wheats. Um, I like to add vital wheat gluten to it. It just lightens up the bread um, and it makes a huge difference. So I was completely out of this. I used all mine up, so I needed a new one. So I grabbed one of those. And then they also had um, buttermilk, powdered buttermilk, which is one of my favorite things to use, especially in my um, homemade uh, pancakes. So when I make pancakes on a Sunday morning, I like to throw in some buttermilk, some uh, dried buttermilk. So this was a pound and a half, it was $3.27. So that was kind of um, all of my, you know, my extra little baking things that I bought. And then we bought a few things fun for the kids. We ended up buying them some, I don't know, some homemade like peanut butter cup things. 
thought they would like those. This one was a cherry one, chocolate cherry. So like a couple pieces in there. Thought they could try that. And then I picked them up some pretzel rods because they love those. And those are sometimes uh, hard to find. Anyway, so here is my uh, bill. And there is my total. So my total came to $240.74 for all of this, which um, I don't think is too bad, especially when you consider um, <laughs> the bulk lids. So really happy about that, guys. If you need lids, you live in Michigan, you might want to make a trek over to uh, Snover. And um, even though, you know, like me, you might have to drive a four hour round trip to get it, um, it is one of the only places, I mean, I had contacts out with everybody, feelers out with everybody, trying to find some canning lids, and very, very difficult. Um, so, comment down below if you guys in your area have canning lids, canning supplies, I'm talking canners, jars, anything that you have noticed in your area, if you could comment down below and just say, you know, um, you know, jars available, you know, and then list where you live. Like, even if it's the state, um, you don't have to list your city or anything like that, but you know, anywhere where you're living, just to give a shout out, um, to people who might be looking for canning supplies right now. Um, because I know the canners are almost impossible. I think all American is back ordered until November. Uh, I don't even know about the Presto. The Prestos are all gone. Um, Snover did have some canners. They had the smaller ones, like the 16 quart. Um, I'm trying to think what else. They did have a water bath canner, uh, but it was $100. It was like a um, porcelain one. Um, I'm trying to think what else. They were even out of Tatler lids. So I am probably going to um, look into uh, going straight to Tatler and buying some bulk Tatler lids just to have on hand. Um, I do have a few, I have a couple dozen, but I really would like some more. Just in case, just in case, you know, I think there's more people now, <laughs> more than ever canning, which is a good thing. Um, but the, you know, the uh, demand is definitely overshadowing the supply right now. So for those of you who are on the hunt to uh, get these canning supplies in your possession, you might want to check around and like I said, if you can help a sister or brother out down below, letting them know if your area has it or doesn't have it um, and let us know and we can all kind of work together to uh, have each other's back and um, <laughs> make sure that, you know, we can preserve our, our crops or, you know, preserve at least, you know, our neighbor's crops um, and uh, get some food in our pantry for this winter because I really think it might be a long winter for us. So, um, all right, I hope this video was helpful. I will see you guys back here in a little bit when we uh, wash up our jars and label them, and I'll show you how to do that because uh, I've had some questions about that. And um, I'm here to help you guys as much as I can through this process of learning how to can uh, to many of you newbies out there. So, all right, guys, I will be seeing you soon. Bye, guys.